In this video, we're going to talk about health bars, like the one over my player's head. And not even just health bars, how you can use this same method to make things like mana bars, and even things like stamina. Kind of like in my game here, you can see on the top left, I have all these health bars, and when I shoot uh, bullets here, uh, I'm losing energy, and then it's also uh, gaining energy when I'm not using it. So just stuff like this. This is a multiplayer online game I'm making, by the way. Uh, more info on that on my X, x.com slash wizardy. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. So in our object player, we want to create two variables, if you haven't already. One for your hit points. We're just going to name it hit points equals to 100. Uh, and then we want another variable called max hit points. This is basically uh, the largest amount of hit points that you're, you want your player to have. So we're just going to set them both to 100 for now. Another thing you could also do is create max hit points first and then just set it like this. That way you don't have to change both of them uh, when, whenever you want to make this larger. It'll just automatically set that to whatever uh, we set here. So just make sure you have these two variables, hit points and max hit points, and then we're going to go to our draw event. Now obviously when we run the game right now, there's no health bar over our player. So we're going to fix that. <clears throat> now, we're going to create four local variables. Local variables means that they can only be used within this script. We're in the draw event, so variables that look like this can only be used in the draw event, unlike these variables, which can be used anywhere in our object. So, var bar width equals 50, var bar height equals 8. So, this is just going to be how long and how high in pixels our health bar is going to be. Uh, then we want to create var bar under slash x uh, equals, now this is where we want the health bar to live. So we're going to create an x and a y. So we're going to say <clears throat> x minus, which is our player's x, so that way it stays over our head. Uh, so you want x minus bar under slash width uh, slash, or divided by 2. Okay. So this is just a little bit of math here, and we're basically saying wherever our x position is in the world, and then we take this bar width, which is 25, we divide it by 2. So it's no different than just saying x minus 25. It's just so no matter how large we have our health bar, it will always be centered wherever our player is at. In other words, like the health bars on these guys, it's right centered over his head, like the health bar isn't starting where his axe is, it's right in the middle there. So, uh, that's why we're dividing it by 2. So, if we had it at 200, it'd be 100. If we had it at 50, it's going to be at 25. Um, okay, hopefully that makes sense. Now, uh, we'll do our y equals, uh, bar y equals y, uh, and then we can just do minus 40. So, this is how high we want the health bar to be above our player. If we wanted it below our player, we would say y plus 40. And then, you know, you're going to want to play around with this that's going to work for you. You might want it uh, lower. You might want it higher. It's totally up to you. Whatever looks good for your game. Now we're going to do some calculations. We're going to say VRA, var, health, percentage. And we're going to say equals hit points divided by max hit points. Okay. Now we're going to say VRA filled with equals bar width times uh, health percentage. Okay, so we're just dividing our hit points variable by max hit points. Uh, and, and, you know, you, you could kind of study the math here. I don't want to take a long video to explain all of this, but this is essentially doing the math to see how much of the uh, health bar should be filled and how much should be empty. Now we're actually going to draw out the health bar. So first we're going to set a background for the health bar. Uh, so we're just going to set that to draw set color, C, under slash gray. And then we're going to draw a rectangle. Okay. And now we're going to go bar X, bar Y, bar, uh, actually we'll probably want to do, yeah, 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 bar X plus bar width. And then we're going to say bar Y plus bar height. And then we're just going to set this to false, this last argument. The last argument is, do you want it to be an outline of a rectangle or like a filled-in rectangle? So obviously we want it filled in, so we say false. 
Okay, so if we run the game now, we're just going to see a gray box above his head. So uh, that's all the stuff that we've done so far. Now we want to draw out the actual health bar. So we're going to say draw set color C red. And we're going to say draw rectangle. Uh, actually, you know what? We could basically just copy and paste this and just change it up a little bit. So we're going to say bar X, bar Y, and then um, we're going to do bar X plus field width instead of bar width. So bar width is always going to be 50, you know, that gray background. But the field width, which is this formula right here, uh, that's going to be how much of the health bar is filled. So if we run the game now, now we have a red health bar. Now we need to make a way that we can damage our health so we can see it in action. So in our, actually we'll just make an event, add event, key pressed, space, and we're just going to say hit points minus equal 25. Run the game, click space, and it works. Okay, but uh, it's going to run off the thing here, and um, basically we can say after this in key press space, if hit points is uh, less than zero, then hit points equals zero. Okay. So that'll make it to where it can't go below zero at any point. Now, obviously, though, if you have it at zero or below, the game's over. That's where you're going to want to code uh, ha whatever happens when your player dies. So this would work better in step event somewhere. Um, you probably want to put it on the top somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but if hit points uh, is, we'll, we'll put this in brackets here. If hit points is, is less than zero, uh, hit points equals zero, but you probably want to do something like show message, you have died, and then game restart, right? So now if we, of course, key press space, we're going to damage the hit points, but then in step, this detects if we died, click space, boom, you have died, and then the game restarts, right? All right. Um, so if you don't want the health bar above your head, but maybe you want it on the top left, uh, you would just go to your draw event and in uh, th this code right here, you would just tweak this around. So you would just remove the X and the Y, the X minus bar width and the Y, um, the Y minus 40. And uh, you could probably even remove all of this and just put it to the X that you want. So bar X, we're going to put that to 50, and then the bar Y, we're going to put that to 20. And sh so that should put it in the top left corner of the game. So there it is, and that's going to stay right there. Um, and then, you know, if we wanted it bigger, we would just tweak this. So let's set it to 200. Let's set the width to 32. And um, so there we go. Now we have a bigger health bar, and that's at the top left. Now, when you get into cameras, so like let's say our player walks way over here, and then let's say there's a camera that follows him. If you have this in the draw event of your player, uh, this health bar is going to go off the screen. And we'll talk about cameras in another video. So to fix that, we're just going to move this to a different event. This is in the case that you want it on the top left corner or the middle, top right, wherever you want it, but it's not above his head. We're going to copy all this code. Actually, we're going to cut it rather. We're going to add a new event. Draw, draw GUI, or GUI, and we're going to paste that there. So that's just if you run into the issue where you have a camera in your game, and then, um, you know, the, the player is, uh, or the health bar is going off the screen. So you'd want anything you want to be on the screen at all times and draw GUI. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Now I'll just say this same method works for any kind of bars that you want. So like you can see in my game... Uh, I'm using the same method for my hit points, for my uh, MP, my mana, uh, and even this cooldown here, I'm using the same exact method. You would just change the variables from hit points to energy or mana or whatever you want. So, uh, and then you can see at the bottom uh, there I have this level bar. So, like, I just leveled up. And so you can use this for so many things. And, uh, and yeah, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash wizardy, x, x.com slash wizardy, and I'll see you next video.